here. Come on. Hello guys, in this video tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to get and use fraps and set it up so you can start using fraps, uh, which is a, a screen capturing software for free. And there's also a, a, a full version that you can purchase. But let's start by going to our web browser and let's go over to uh, Google. Let's go ahead and type in here fraps. And right here, the first link you see, that's their website. And you can read here, you know, details about the software and what it does and all the stuff. Uh, now, obviously, if you're interested in, in fraps, you already know or have read some uh, information about it. Now, what I like about fraps that um, it, it's kind of I, I don't know if uh, Cam Studio does it or any other software does that. They uh, they support a real high high quality uh, image and a big size as well. Now, I, the files are big because they're they already have like a, a you can say like a preset uh, encoder encoder. So they, it's hard to like manage it where you can, you know, for example, with Cam Studio, you can use uh, the uh, DivX codec with Fraps. Uh, I don't know, I think they already have like their own built in the software so you can mess around with it. I don't know if in the full version you can do that, but I haven't tried myself. But anyways, uh, you can actually view samples. If you click on these videos, you can view samples, uh, you know, uh, of the quality of the video, how big the quality are and the file size as well. Uh, now this, I think this is like a 10 second or 20 second video and it took like 18 megabytes, which is a lot for that, you know, for that uh, image size. This as well, you know, these ones right here, this is a smaller, so uh, it took less size. But uh, once again, guys, I mean, it, the quality is real good. It, the software, it's free. It's just uh, that they show their own their logo on the videos that you capture. Uh, so that's the only downside of it, you can say. But if you buy the full version, you can, you know, get those uh, the logo watermark out. So anyways, once you're here, you can click on download and you can save it and run. I already have mine, so I don't have to do this. So exit from here. And let's go ahead and open fraps it's right here continue so now once you're there this is the main uh, interface for fraps uh, mine already you know already had it uh, you can say uh, set up but when it first comes it's gonna have a, the by default you know the, sh the options that they have it's not the greatest so I chose here Fraps window always on top. Uh, monitor arrow desktop, so you can record the whole you know screen, the whole desktop. Uh, you can choose here under the this tab, change, and you're gonna choose which file or um, for, for, I'm sorry folder you wanna save your video on. You know, and then once you have it, just press OK. I already have mine, so I don't have to do that. On these, don't mess around with these. Uh, it's, I'm not sure what that is, but don't mess around with it. On here, you want to make sure it's uh, min max average, right? This one right here, and this overlay here is like the little numbers that it'll come up showing you, you know, how many uh, uh, the seconds that you know the frame rates are, you know, encoding. So in recording, I'm sorry. So you can just choose where you want it in the left top corner or on the right top corner or on the bottom or you know whatever so I mean you can also hide it if you want but I, I, I don't I don't mind I don't use fraps so I'm just showing you guys how to use it I used it uh, maybe twice and I didn't really like it but I mean I know some people are there really they really like it and they really you know use use a lot of uh, the features that this provides now movies, uh, this is if you're recording an actual movie playing on your computer or if let's say you're recording a video full screen that you see off of YouTube or any other websites, 
you know and then you can choose here the options 30 frames per second or 29 half size full screen uh, I think it's you know uh, it's pretty cool here uh, it also does you know the external uh, record or uh, it also records you know what's playing on the computer stereo multi-channel you know how you can choose these options it's up to you screenshots this is like if you're on a website or you know you're using a certain software and you want to you know do like screenshots uh, shots of the screen you know so yeah so yeah guys pretty much that's the real basic stuff uh, in order to start recording you just gotta press uh, there there is a way here how to uh, uh, I'm sorry right here here we go it was this one right here I'm sorry I totally blinked out um, there is a way here that you can start like you can set a, a certain uh, button on your keyboard that you, once you press it it'll start recording and once you press it again it'll stop recording so for example you can put pretty much anything you, I can put R and if I press R it's gonna start recording my screen but uh, and then if I press R again it's gonna stop recording once it stops recording it's gonna start uh, decoding uh, encoding I'm sorry the uh, the video for you automatically so once it's done with it uh, it'll preview the video for you on your default media player and it'll show you it'll show as well on the file folder that you choose to to be on so yeah guys that's pretty much it. it's real simple and easy pretty basic uh, the cam studio does a better job recording uh, capture uh, recording your screen capturing images this one does better job at recording uh, actual moving stuff like a video playing like I said or video games that you're playing on the PC or anything like that so that's the difference of it now uh, please don't forget to subscribe rate and comment and thanks for watching guys